Brawl. As they took down the visiting Guardians. 5-2. From Minute Maid Park in Houston, it's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now the rookie second baseman, Eddie Collins. The second baseman, number 17. Now all even up. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 2-2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off-speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that, and there's one away. So up next, number 12. The kick, the 3-2. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Dubon settles under this one. He makes the grab. Two away. Hey, man, four pitches, two yeah, outs. Her, her. That is an the excellent pace. Shoeless and Joe. next to hit for the Sox, Shoeless Joe Jackson. The 3 2 oh, oh, is oh, oh. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow oh, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Jackson, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground right side, Hensley on the run, throw to first, third out. And stepping in for the Astros, Corey Jones. It's interesting, he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. battling here as he fouls it away and I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better swing and that ball smashed on the line and that's a base hit here's Mauricio Dubon and the pitch ground ball left side could be two Goes to second for one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Second inning set to go. And now, Felch. Number 22. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Over to Hosmer. One out in the second. Number seven steps to the plate for the White Sox. The wide to kick the pitch. In the air, center field. Dubon in position. Makes the catch for the out. So digging in. Number 20. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Hit weakly on the ground. Sends it across the first. 
That ends the frame. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. So now the Astros designated hitter. Number 28. Going to count one and two. Williams. A big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound with this ball club. The wind of the pitch. And it's filled up. At this point, it doesn't matter if you're a first rounder or an undrafted free agent. All that matters once you reach this level is producing. Can you help your team get better? It's a big question. That said, you don't want to put too much pressure on your debut. I hope he's taking time to enjoy this experience today. And a 3-2. Line drive to short and caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Left-hand hitter waits. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Number seven. Settles under it. Oh, he brought it back. Comes a 2-2. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. That one is gone. A solo shot. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Now batting Eric Gonzalez. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, out of the third ball inning, ball. and here's the, the catcher, catcher, number 15. 1-1 one, one now. On a line, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now it's going to be... And he grounds one to the right side. Nice stop. And it beats him. What a play. Well, credit the base runner there for a great secondary lead in beating the throw to second. But they don't give up. Continue to try to complete what would be a double play. And they get the trail runner on the back side. Hey, you know what? That's a pretty good play. You'll take it. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And up next for Chicago, number 12. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, David Hensley. The second baseman, David Hensley. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And next to hit for Houston, Corey Jolks. One for one, the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. 
Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Now the throw to first on the run. They get him, but it was pretty close. Here's the center fielder, Mauricio Dubon. 0 for 1 so far. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. And there's two away. Michael Brantley stands in. And he deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Runner at second. Two down. Now it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the left fielder, Shoeless Joe Jackson, looking for his first big league hit right here. Swing and a bouncer. And foul ball. The one, two. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Pulls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Rips that one to right. Myers makes the grab for the second out. Belch steps to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out his first time. Strike two. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. of the fourth and now the DH number 28 swing and a miss and a count one and two gets a piece and stays alive pitch and a foul ball he stays alive the wind of the pitch got him swinging for the strikeout snuck the fastball by him and now it's Eric Hosmer 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first Swing and a miss, and now two and two. In the air, left field, Jackson settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's two away. Martin Maldonado up to hit. One for one so far today with a solo homer at his first at bat. Ripped, but it curls foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the first baseman, number seven. Number seven. And a pitch. And one and two. Well, you can't offer it that pitch in an 0 0 count. It's a strike, but not every strike is a good strike early in the count. Tax and misses. It's a strikeout. Number 20 steps to the plate for the White Sox. First time up, he grounded to third. This one popped up. Hensley on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. Now the catcher up to hit. Number 15. And he's already singled in this game. Lifted in the air, right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out.
bottom of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Eric Gonzalez. Tapped in front of the plate. Throws to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Jake Myers, the next to hit. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Swings and misses. One and two. In the air on the infield, Collins calls it in two away. Here's the second baseman, David Hensley. One for one with a single so far. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Long run, tracks it down. And the inning is over. Back here at Minute Maid Park. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the White Sox DH, Job Jenkins. Line drive. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. So the lineup flips over, and stepping in is the speedy Eddie Collins. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And he hits a ground ball right side. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now the number two hitter, number 12. Not in time, he legs it out. The left number eight. Two outs, runner at first. Now at the plate, Shoeless Joe Jackson. He's 0 for 1. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. Here's a 1 1. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. Not in time. He's safe. A couple of singles back to back. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So two on with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Buck Weaver. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here in Houston at the play. Corey Jones. The 1-1. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. One up, one down. So next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And a 1-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And here now is the Astros' cleanup hitter, number 28. And base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those are He's got it, and that'll end the inning. top of the seventh and now the center fielder Felch the tying run at the plate out to center Dubon on the move he's got it and there's one down and now number seven payoff pitch swing and a ball popped up that gets down for a hit 
And that puts the tying run on base. Now number and the batter will be the shortstop, number 20. And a pitch. Now here's a flare off the bat. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Here comes the throw. In there. He's safe. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a flare down that right field line, and he got it to drop in fair. I guarantee you. He was yelling, get down, get down, as he ran out of the box, because, Boog, sometimes you just got to talk to it. The new pitcher in the game, Ryan Stanek. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And now here is number 15. Next one misses, and it's two and two. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Mayer gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Now here is Martin Maldonado. He's already homered in this game. In there. And so now one and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Eric Gonzalez now at the plate one for two swing and a miss and a count one and two gets a piece there we'll do it again on the ground out to short stops it on a slide and that's a great play for the out two outs bases empty and now the right fielder Jake Myers the one one Swing and a miss as he was out front. One and two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now, Job Jenkins. And the right hander deals. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Line drive, that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Stepping in, number 12. And a base hit. Row comes back in. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Here's the left fielder, Shoeless Joe Jackson. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can... On the ground, could be two. No throw, and they get a run at home. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. The Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, Tommy Hunter. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And here is Hunter. And that one in the air center field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third, lay at the plate, safe, and they take the lead. That's well, a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on.
on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. And here's a slow roller. Jokes. Zips it across. Two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice. job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work hit hard that gets through in there safely his confidence level is so high really nice job of coming through in a big spot timing on the swing was good able to shoot the ball up the middle didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked but that's a good approach paying off on the ground to the left dives and he can't hang on to first and he beats it everyone's safe first and second two down now it's the White Sox catcher number 15 one for three Here's a 1-1. Slapped foul. Riding to the plate. That's the third. What a stop! And they get the out. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Number 54 on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. And that one is out of here. His first homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 4-2. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through. So up next, Mauricio Dubon. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Swing and a base hit. One gone runner at first. Now Michael Brantley steps in. Inside three and two to count. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already. And a swing and a miss. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. And next is the designated hitter, number 28. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Jay Spry. Gets an opportunity to square Ready off. Now against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Eddie Collins steps to the plate for the White Sox. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. And here it comes. Pop up here, third base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, number 12. Outfield playing pretty shallow. To the right side. And that one handled. Whips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So bottom of the ninth. Now it's Eric Hosmer, number 27, on to try and close it out. A chance at his first save of the year. Kicks and fires. At the ball. And that one ripped into right. And there's one down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin Maldonado. Kicks and deals. Swung on. Belted. 
That's back there. Out of here. He'll circle the bases. His second home run of the game. It's 4-3. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Eric Gonzalez up next for the Astros. That smacked on a line to center. Brings it in. Out number two. Fell off the bat. It looked like they might get that tying run on base. Maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Line to right. Base hit. Now it's the second baseman, David Hensley. Next pitch is outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere in a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final, Our final line, line score tonight. tonight. First.